If you had to sum it up in a couple sentences, finish the sentence, regenerative agriculture is. Regenerative agriculture is um, a series of uh, holistic land management practices and methodologies, and they vary dramatically uh, from place to place that, that benefit the, the, the sort of uh, common denominator here is that they benefit soil uh, and they benefit the soil and ecosystems health, they benefit climate and they benefit biodiversity. Um, at, at, at the very least, that they are good for the ecosystem and that inherently creates uh, health begets health right self-generating self-renewing systems are regenerative. Um, so to start just share a little bit about uh, who you are and what you're doing i'm jack algier and i'm the the farm director or my i guess my title now currently is the director of agroecology i'm going to share a little bit more about that here at stonebarn center um, I was a, an initial member, founding member of Stone Barns. Uh, I set up the farm here beginning in 2003, and I've been overseeing this operation, all of the agricultural systems and uh, artisan work that we've been doing here for 19 years. And so when it comes down to the consumer really learning the language, learning terms like regenerative, learning ideas about what should be happening, learning about why pollinators are important and why perennial systems are important and what the watershed is doing and carbon sequestration and organic matter. And, and we learn these things and then we turn and say, well, why are you not doing that on your farm? And why is this not happening for these farms? And, or, and then, you know, kind of coming down on the farmer is, you know, understanding that it's everyone's responsibility that as a consumer, you have just as much, actually, in, in many ways, incredible leverage to change the way our food system is just in the purchasing power. Mm -hmm. um, when you choose to not buy something because you don't feel ethically aligned to it because of the, the farming or the labor or whatever is attached to that, you choose a product that is better and that is supporting those things. And by doing that, you increase the demand for that product. And those farmers now can get into those markets. Mm -hmm. Unless that happens, and, and all of the other people that happen in between that make that happen too. Um, you know, I think that's, that's part of this, raising the, the total awareness of our communities and helping the farmers actually see that they can take steps without breaking the bank is, is really important. Mm-hmm.